So I'm going to do a little reading today, not from Animal Farm, but uh, I'll tell you who it is when we're done. I don't know how you fellow Athenians have been affected by my accusers, but for my part I felt myself almost transported by them. So persuasively did they speak, and yet hardly a word they have said is true. Among their falsehoods, one especially astonished me. Their warning that you must be careful not to be taken in by me, because I'm a, I am a clever speaker. It seemed to me the height of impudence, stupidity, on their part not to be embarrassed at being refuted straight away by the facts once it becomes apparent that I am not a clever speaker at all. Unless indeed they call a clever speaker one who speaks the truth. If, if that is what they mean when they say clever, then I would admit to being an orator, although not on par with them. As I said then, my accusers have said little or nothing true, whereas from me you shall hear the whole truth. Though not, I assure you, fellow Athenians, in language adorned with fine words and phrases, all dressed up as theirs are. You shall hear my points made spontaneously in whatever words occur to me, persuaded as I am that in my case, persuaded as I am that my case is just. None of you should expect anything to be put differently, because it would not, of course, be at all fitting at my age, gentlemen, to come before you with artificial speeches, such as might be composed by a young lad. That's Socrates. That's um, Socrates, Plato, right? That was the apology that see it's it's I'm reading the apology because Socrates was brought before the court and accused of being a traitor an, an orator who 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 tells the truth or or contorts the truth as they as they accused him of and then I, so but in, 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 in this age, what we have is we're living in the Clintonian world where the truth is no longer relevant, right? As Judy Kopp said in the comments that, the, that Hillary Clinton said about the truth, you know, she didn't even know what they were talking about. Like, you know, what difference does it make? It doesn't matter. Like, more, moral compass no longer matters. And Clinton also, you know, is a fan of George Soros, who's on the record of saying, you can look at the video, I'm saying that business doesn't consider social ramification. It only considers profit, right? And that's, that's who we've put our faith in, is, which is the profiteers, the corporations, right? So, so it's a day later, and, um, you know, I, Conti V D S N Y is at this point, you know, over, I, we could still appeal, we could still appeal in New York, the higher court in New York, and then the next step would be uh, Supreme Court, the Supreme Court of, uh, U.S. Supreme Court in D.C., right? But uh, I'm just going to give it a little break for now, we have time to, we have time to figure that one, that part of it out, so, um, so I want to, I just want to get into the, uh, I just want to get into the one part of where I talk about the, uh, just gotta, gotta wait for the train to pass. People just like jamming me up. <laughs> but, um, the part of the, uh, part of my arguments in previous days about how, what is the rebellion? How does one rebel? Uh, it's very important, right? It's very important to know how does, how is it that, that a rebellion can take root? Because we know that the courts are fake, right? It's, it's a totally rigged, the courts don't work anymore, right? For the people, right? The taxation systems are screwed. The, the elections are rigged. Am I exaggerating? No, everything I'm saying is based in, based in truth, based in fact. But those facts don't have any weight anymore because we're not, because we're in the 1%. Right? And we're in the 99%, and the 1% doesn't agree, right? We're on Jones's farm. We're the animals. Right? So how do you rebel? Like, I mean, again, it's 
the only way oligarchy moves, the only way oligarchy listens, is when there's it's money. It's it's dollars and cents. If there's no dollars, it doesn't make sense. So you have to hit them where 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 it hurts, in their pockets. So I threw out a few, you know, yesterday taxation. Don't pay tax. Right? Right. Any corporations over ten billion dollars, ten million dollars in market cap, excluding small businesses. Take take what's take. They've been stealing from you for so long. Take it back. But there's also more. What about credit card debt? Right? It's unsecured debt. Why, why, why? Just if all people came together and decided that's enough, we sink the sink. You want to, you want to sink the banks? Don't pay the credit card debt. What about home mortgages, right? Currently the six banks own like 40% of all of the real estate in the United States in mortgages. Take the mortgage, throw it in the garbage, and then take your gun and put it on the, put it on the stoop. If anybody comes by to take you home, you know, you got to remember that that the, even the military in this country, even a mobilized military, is only a million and a half people. But there's 40 or 50 million gun owners in America, right? People are still powerful. Second Amendment is still in place, right? Tyranny, the, the defense of tyranny. So, so you you abolish credit card debt. What about student loans? Kids are getting swamped by student loans. Don't pay it, right? End of student loans, right? Student college tuition should be free, right? In this country. At least a state or city university, but people have been bamboozled into, uh, you know, paying extraordinary amounts of money for, for education. Don't pay it, right? See, it's not what we do, but it's what we don't do, right? Because we see, like you see in my example, right? That I did what... I did what was available, which is sue, go through the legal system, right? Learn the language of the court, right? And you see what they do. Like in, so in the example of Socrates, they twist it into, into bullshit, uh, arbitrary and capricious, that the court, the State Division of Human Rights has uh, extraordinary discretion, right? They have, you know, it's gibberish. It's garbage. Any any jury, that's what they try to do, keep you out of the Seventh Amendment, right? No no trial of jury. I never got a trial, right? So far. Right? That's, that's, you can't, you're not going to win. It's like going, you know, it's like you're going into their court and playing basketball and expecting all the judges to, to favor you. No, it's the courts have been taken over in this Clintonian, you know, world. Hope. Oh. Hope! Hope! Mr. Hopeful. Mr. Hopeful. 2008. We put our, look, we put our, we put our, our faith in Mr. Hopeful, Mr. Obama. In 2008, by 2011, largest transfer of wealth in the history of America. Right? Corporations. Yeah, oh, they're good. No, corporations. TTPP. TPP and New World Order. Get, these are the people. Give the money to the people that know how to handle money. Wall Street. I worked on Wall Street. Anybody who's been on Wall Street two two seconds knows that it's a it's a criminal organization. It's the money grabbers. Right? They're money grabbers, right? Term limits. Get these politicians out. Term limits. If we're going to uh, vote at all, you have to you have to get rid of the politicians. It's not hard to do. You know? Term limits. Make make bri bribery bribery once again illegal. Bribery is illegal. Oh, this guy's doing something. What are you guys doing? Cleaning up. So, uh, so there you go. You know, the, the the solutions are the solutions are in the people. The solutions are not the solutions are not part of you know something else. I'm in a weird place. Like, these people people are spooky. Like they don't they're not used to seeing people just hang out and and film and record and all that stuff. So, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this for now, but uh, thank you. I want to thank everybody who uh, who has been following this saga. You know, thank you very much, Judy Cop, Sterling Price, uh, you know, Mr. Cipher, uh, Nelson, Nelson, uh, Chris Sullivan, 
Thank you guys, you know, it's not over yet though. I mean, this is just the beginning. This is where we, this is still where we fight, right? right so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shut down right now because I got all kinds of people on my ass. Peace.